what the fuck? Sean O'Malley just put out Aljamain Sterling last night and is now, and it's crazy to say, but he's now the new undisputed UFC Bantamweight champ of the world. Who expected that? I'm going to be real. I picked Aljamain Sterling to get it done. I think most people did. Let's be real. I think most people did predict. Um, and I'm still here. But Aljamain Sterling. I am worried for his IQ. I am a little bit salty. I am. But Sean O'Malley's a fucking beast. He will fuck up everyone in the whole division now. And now we're going to talk about his title defenses next. And what's next for him and Sterling as well. But what a performance by Al Mali. Sterling was out striking him early. Good stuff from Al Jermaine Sterling. First round was just nothingness, really. Let's be real. Um, but Sterling, you know. You know, he had the first round. He was out striking Sean O'Malley. And he won at the end of the first round where he shot. Didn't even shoot the whole time. I thought Aljo right away was just going to be like, shoot for a takedown. Maybe he was hesitant about the knee up the middle. But let's be real, Aljo can smother it. He can get the back. But Aljo, I think, just looked terrified out there. And he got clipped in the second round coming forward with his chin wide up in the air. Sorry, guys, I didn't, I didn't know Aljo and Sterling would try to strike with Sean O'Malley for that long. And if he did... He would get caught. O'Malley was reading the strikes of uh, Aljamain Sterling. And Sean O'Malley is the new champ. Fucking crazy world we're in. I don't mind O'Malley winning. He's a superstar. He did it. He did it. He's the new champion of the world. That is fucking crazy. We can't call him a hype train anymore. He's the fucking champion. He's above the hype train now. He's above that. You know, maybe Ian Gary, who also got a great one over Neil Magny, can maybe go on that level too someday. But O'Malley did it. He's the champ. Fucking crazy. I don't know why Sterling, he shot in the last 30 seconds of round one. Maybe he just found his good moment, tried to beat up uh, O'Malley. I think the round one was very close. I gave it Sterling because of the ending, because he was landing some shots in the clinch of Sean O'Malley. Was landing some good shots of O'Malley. Better wrestler than Cejudo. Better wrestler than Henry Cejudo. Cejudo got taken down by Aljo. Now, Cejudo doesn't have as threatening a stand-up as Sean O'Malley, as we know now. O'Malley, fucking insane. Best Bantamweight striker at Bantamweight. He's the best striker. He outstruck Yan. Arguably beat Yan as well. I mean, I still think Yan... That is crazy. Yan took down O'Malley, was beating him up. Yan misses, but Aljo couldn't do anything. And Aljo, we saw what he did to Yan, so... MMA makes no sense, but I'm not salty about this. I'm a little bit, a little bit am, because Aljo... You know, if, he, if Aljo kept shooting for takedowns, let's say, and he was getting them some here and there, but let's say he gassed out and lost, fine. At least Aljo played the right game plan. His cardio just wasn't there. But he struck with Sean O'Malley. Like, what do you expect? What do you expect, Aljo? Sean O'Malley is a champion of the world. Fucking savage he is. Let's be real. Jesus. And he called out Marlon Vera, who also got a good win over Pedro Munoz. Um, I'll talk about that as well. Munoz can't handle with range. I can't pick him ever again against rangey strikers. And guys with longer reach than him. Fucking Gutierrez is shit. Fuck him. Weird looking fuck. Anyways, um, Vera got a good win. We're gonna talk about that though. But good shit from Sean O'Malley. He's the fucking world champ. Jesus, he did it. He's the champ. He did it. And now, it's gonna be him versus Marlon Chito Vera. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after Vera's performance against Munoz, where well, he did look good in one. Made it razor, razor, razor close, though. Let's be real. If that went Munoz's way, you can't complain. Although I did think Vera did win. Watching it back. Um, 
Vera, will get fucking, he'll get destroyed. He'll get fucking destroyed by O'Malley. Marab will get fucking destroyed because I know people can say, oh, Marab can wrestle and he'll wrestle. I'm going to be honest with you. A washed Marlon Marais was able to crack him and wobble him and nearly put him out. I wonder what a Sean O'Malley in his prime can do. Not even in his prime yet. He's 28 years old. So he's got a good five to six years left. Maybe a seven, we can reach that as well. O'Malley is in his peak. He's a beast. He'll destroy Vera. And I'm down for that rematch. I don't like his main event, though. Like, I, I don't mind. Because Vera just got destroyed by Sanhagen. And he'll fuck up Sanhagen. He'll destroy Sanhagen as well. Alright? Sanhagen won't wrestle him. Rob Font just has no clue of takedowns. Sanhagen's a weak skeleton. Screw Corey Sanhagen. He'll get fucking KO'd and put out cold. If fucking Yan's dropping you, O'Malley will KO you. You know? And I know some people were like, Cejudo called him out. Yan called him out. Cejudo, O'Malley KO is both of them. Cejudo has no chance against O'Malley. Zero fucking chance. Maybe I'm doing it a little bit too far right now. But he just won the fucking belt. He just beat Aljamain Sterling, which Cejudo failed. Yan failed. I know you can say robbery here and there. I don't care. He couldn't, they, both of those pussies couldn't do anything. Oh, they barely went close to scissors. 3-2, Yan. Shut the fuck up. O'Malley's the beast, he's the champ, and he's going to be a champ for a long time. Long time. Until maybe an Umar can come up and beat him. I think O'Malley beats everyone right now. Marab will get fucking KO'd. Fuck that dumb bitch. That fucking number one hogger. Fuck him. Fuck him. Alright? Because he's been fucking hogging up a number one spot, which we could have had... Could have had Yan. We could have had Yan at number one right now, or number two, because O'Malley would have been number one because he beat him. Could have had Yan, you know. But O'Malley should face Vera next, because if I'm Vera, it's risky with him. Although Vera is alright, and he did look improved against Munoz. Some guys can beat him. Like I would trust maybe a Ricky Simone to outgrapple him. Let's be real. But man, these three, everyone looked really improved yesterday night. But O'Malley won. Him versus Vera will be next. Not as a main event, because it's hard to promote Vera losing to Sam. Maybe you can say, oh, San Egan was next. He was deserving one, but he was injured, so we brought Vera in instead. And Vera beat O'Malley. Fuck, I wish Vera San Egan never happened. Because I knew that was just a nightmare for Vera right there. Fuck. Anyways. Yeah, I think that um, that makes sense to do next. Vera versus O'Malley. I think O'Malley KOs him. I think O'Malley will KO him badly. And it sucks for Sterling. It sucks for Aljamain Sterling. Sucks to be him because he was that. I feel bad for him because he was looking decent, I guess, but like. He wasn't an idiot. He would have... T- but again, O'Malley was stuffing the takedowns. So automatically, O'Malley... Aldo might have been fucked. You know. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, Aljo, I don't know what's next. I know some people are screaming rematch. Which I don't mind. But you know the UFC's not going to do it. You know they won't. They're gonna. Aljo's gonna have to get another win. If Oliveira has to get another win, Aljo will have to. I know Oliveira missed weight in that, but I don't care. You know, so they're gonna definitely do this next. They're gonna do. What are they gonna do? They're gonna. No, what are they gonna do? What am I saying? No, I know Oliveira missed weight. <laughs> I know Oliver missed weight against Makashev. Not against Makashev. Against Gaethje. Fuck. I'm just fucking in too hyped right now. But Oliver did miss weight. So that's why he needed another win. Let's be real. But Aljo... 
He'll need another win to be back in the mix. But who does he face? Who does he face? Maybe you do him versus... I wish he wouldn't mind a Yan fight. Although there'd be no hype behind it. Cause actually, you can't do that because it's a trilogy and you need that for a title fight. So no, you can't do that. But maybe Aljo can move up if Holloway beats TKZ next weekend, let's say. Holloway wins impressively, which I think will happen. Let's be real. I think everyone thinks that. If TKZ wins, good for fucking him. I would fucking love him if he won because that would be fucking... No one outside of Volk, everyone would have failed and he would have been the one passing Holloway. It's like Whitaker and Duplessis, you know, but TKZ is on the downfalls where Duplessis was coming up. So, yeah, um, I think that, that makes sense next. If Holloway wins, Holloway, Sterling. If the winner, let's, put, let's hope Sterling wins. But Sterling took the loss well. He took the loss very well. Good for him. I just don't, I just don't I feel bad for Sterling because he was close. He won that. I made a whole video. Like, Sterling beat O'Malley. Like, he's the bottom way to go. Now Cruz is still number one, unfortunately. Because I'm sick of Cruz and his boring ass inactive style recently. Yeah, so Cruz is still number one, unfortunately, for Aljamain. Aljamain's number two, though. Because he beat Cejudo and Dillashaw. He, Sterling beat Dillashaw and Cejudo. You know, so, yeah. Um, Cruz is number one, still, unfortunately. But if Cruz, if Cruz goes on huge, a huge loss spree... Aljo just might take, might overtake him. Let's be real. But I don't know if he'll get the belt back. Maybe he can go over to Featherweight, but that's a whole different division, and he's going to have to match Aldo. So I don't know. It sucks for Sterling. He would have been the GOAT if he won. Unfortunate for him. Good shit from Sean O'Malley. It's O'Malley Vera next, and O'Malley will fucking destroy him. If Sean Hagen can do any sorts of anything to him. O'Malley will as well. O'Malley beats the whole division. He'll beat Marab. He'll beat Marab. It's basically like a weaker version. O'Malley just beat a weaker version of Marab. A more shit version of Marab and Aljamain. If you know what I mean. You know, I do believe Marab would beat Aljamain. But I don't know what Aljamain can do. He beat... I don't know what he can do. Maybe he takes on a prospect, but that would just be fucking dumb. There's no one. Like, Oliver had Darius there. But what can he do, Aljo? Maybe Aljo versus Sanhagen, but no. Can't really do that. Maybe Aljo versus Cruz. Maybe that can happen. But Cruz might fight Figueredo. But honestly, let's fuck it. It's not going to happen. Let's be real. Maybe do Cruz-Aljo. Maybe they do that path. If Cruz wins, he's right there for a title shot. But you can't really give Cruz a jump. I don't even know. He's going off a loss. Where the fuck has Cruz been? Why did, like, after the head kick where you just like, I need to take a whole year off. It's my OCD, sorry. A whole year off, UFC. You know, like, where the fuck's he been at? Vera's fought fucking twice already since then. So, yeah, I don't know what they do. But, Sterling Holloway makes sense. I like that fight. If Holloway beats TKZ, obviously. And if Holloway wins, if Sterling wins, that's good. Gets a title shot. You know, but yeah. Um, we'll see what happens. Like, subscribe. Think great, good win from uh, O'Malley. Again, just have to praise him because that was an awesome performance. Superstar. Superstar right there. That was awesome. Same counter with Aldo McGregor when Aldo rushed in and Sterling rushed in. Although Aldo was completely out cold, Sterling off. Unfortunately, I was still awake, but people just keep playing early stoppage. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What do you think? What do you think would have happened? You think Sterling would have survived? You think Sterling would have came back? Like, think about that before you speak. Mally's the fucking champ. Like, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.